joined now by Matt Park, the voice of the Syracuse Orange. He calls He's called Syracuse Orange Games all season long. We were just talking about the $14,000 coat, Matt, but we'll talk about Jeremy Grant just being taken by the Philadelphia 76ers. Of course, I'm sure he was thinking he'd be a first-round pick, but this still seems like you know, it's a draft where they're so, it's so deep. He's still got a great opportunity in Philadelphia. Well, sure he does. He's got a great opportunity to, to grow his career in professional basketball. Uh, obviously, the rule of thumb is if you're going to go to pro early, you'd love to be a first-round pick and right. preferably a lottery pick. Uh, I don't think it was ever thought that he'd be a lottery pick, but uh, as this draft got deeper and deeper with some of the European players and some others that had helped their stock, uh, he obviously fell a bit, so I'm sure he's a bit disappointed, but uh, happy to get on with his career. What's your sense from talking to Coach Beheim? like, say, six months ago? Did he expect to still have Tyler Ennis and Jeremy Grant coming into the next season? I don't think he expected Ennis. Um, you know, it was no surprise at all uh, that Ennis uh, went pro. I think he was hoping that maybe there was a chance he would stay. Um, you know, but given the two... Grant was much more likely to stay. Grant's the guy who stood the most to gain with his draft stock if he'd been back a year, uh, used some time to develop, and then could be and uh, should be a lottery pick next year. In fact, uh, Beheim was recently uh, on the record saying that he thought that uh, Grant would have a shot to be first-team All-American next season in college. Uh, obviously, now he's going into a, an apprentice program uh, with the 76ers who need to improve in all kinds of ways, and he'll be there with a, a recent uh, former teammate of Michael Carter-Williams. So uh, I, I think Beheim, to be honest, at the end of the season, if you asked him, uh, who do you think will be back, I think you would have said uh, you know, Grant probably and, and Ennis likely not. Uh, he talked about in that interview uh, quite a – he was pretty open. And, he, and amongst the things he said, he really said, you know, you probably shouldn't go if you're not physically ready, right? That's the only way you're going to get time right away. Deion Waiters is a guy who was physically ready. Uh, was that a reference – I mean, Tyler Rennes was an outstanding player, but he's obviously you, – you got the sense maybe he was wearing down at the end of the year. Well, he's not a thick player. He's, you know, and I won't say that he's frail. He's just a young kid. He's 19 years old. He hasn't fully developed. He's – been there with a you know big league strength and conditioning program that they have here at Syracuse under Ryan Kabilis, but he's got a lot of room for improvement in that area. That's clearly a weakness, really, for both of these players. Uh, for uh, you know Jeremy Grant, uh, he obviously needs to fill out uh, his physique and improve on his shot as he goes forward. It's just a matter of do you improve at the college level or or under you know pro supervision. So. Uh, so that's where they're going to go. I think these particular players uh, sting the fan base and, and maybe the coaching staff a little bit more than most just because they were so much fun to watch and there's so much gain there. Had they come back next year, this would be a really special team, uh, easily preseason top five and loaded. Yeah. And uh, without them, there's some questions. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. That team would have been loaded if those guys come back. What's your sense from having watched Syracuse all these years? How has Jim Beheim reacted to a, a new era where guys are one and done or leaving after a couple of years? Well, he's seen both ends of it. You know, certainly Carmelo Anthony, uh, who goes in and is the you know third, fourth pick in the draft and goes on and has a, a great career after winning a national championship in his one season. What can you say to a guy like that? He doesn't owe anything to Syracuse anymore. And there's been a handful of those types of guys along the way. I don't think there'll be any ill feeling for uh, Tyler Ennis or, for that matter, even Jeremy Grant. But guys like Jeremy Grant and, and Dante Green would be another uh, candidate uh, who may have gone a, a little bit before they'd reached their maturation process in college. Uh, and then, you know, you're also at risk of not having the best NBA career uh, doing that. Uh, you know, I think it's a little unfortunate that sometimes a guy like Grant – it's so easy to get a book on him. He plays on national television so regularly. Everybody's seen what he can do and can't do. He's been picked over a million times. Uh, if he was from Croatia, maybe it'd be a different story. Coming soon on the ACC Digital Network, the 2014 college football season. Follow the ACCDN for comprehensive coverage of the national champs and every ACC school. College football the way you want it. The ACC Digital Network. Brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.